Now that you've seen how to zoom and pan around your images, I wanna show you another way to customize Photoshop to gain a little bit more screen real estate when you're working on your images, as well as hide the interface to allow you to present your images full screen. I'm gonna select all three of these images and bridge. I'll select the first one, hold down the shift key, and then click on the last one to select all three of them and use command O in order to open up all three of these images. Now, underneath the view menu, you can see that there's a screen mode. We've got standard, full screen with menu bar, and then full screen mode. These are also accessible on the toolbar at the very bottom. And when I select that and I hold down my cursor to pop out the other nested tools, you can see that they've all been assigned the keyboard shortcut F. And that means that I can just toggle through the screen modes by tapping the F key. All right, I'm gonna zoom in by using Command-1 to show you the primary difference. And that is when you're in the standard mode, you get the scroll bars on the left and right if your image is bigger than just the preview area. As soon as I tap F once, then I no longer have those scroll bars. Photoshop just hides or tucks the image underneath my panels. So it does give me a little bit more space, not only on the left, but also at the bottom of my screen. Now, if I tap the F key again, I go to full screen without menu bar. And this is an excellent way to present your image. I could use Command-0 here to zoom out to fit in window. We can see the entire image and if I needed to access, say, my tools or my panels, I could hover my cursor over the edge of my screen and they would pop up. So I could select another tool or we could come to the panels here and I could, say, select a different layer or a different option from those panels. As soon as I position my cursor away from the panels, they will automatically hide again. All right, to get out of the full screen, I can either tap F once again or I can just tap the escape key. Now here's a quick shortcut before we wrap up. I'm going to set all three of these images to fit on screen. So I'll use Command-0. I'll move to the next image by using the shortcut Control-Tab, and again use Command-0, and once again Control-Tab, and then Command-0. Now if I tap the F key once, and then again to go to full screen, now all of my images are at the same zoom percentage and I can just use control tab to move from one image to another. So there you go, a great way to present your images using full screen mode or a nice way to get just a little bit more screen real estate using the full screen mode with menu bar.